What's up, family? We got another weapon for y'all. It's uh, chapter 16 in Jesus Marines book here. A uh, book that me and my wife and uh, my brother Brandon made with the help of the Holy Spirit and uh, Father God and Jesus. And wanted to share it with you guys. <clears throat> it's called Body of Christ Prayers. And <clears throat> got a few of them I want to share with you, and I'll explain to you how to use them and stuff. I've got Mark 13, 34. For the Son of Man is a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. So that's pretty much saying we have authority and we have the keys to heaven. And we have Jesus, the power of Jesus in us through our Holy Spirit to be able to talk to the Holy Spirit and communicate with heaven. We can sling these prayers around and use his name for authority in the kingdom down here and really spread the kingdom out on the earth, you know. So let me get back to you. I've got, and you can say, I encourage you to say these off your tongue, not just hear them and, you know, put them to use. <clears throat> In the name of our authority from our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, the body of Christ puts the deception of Satan's lies under its feet. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen. In the name of our authority from our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, the body of Christ puts the deception. See, if I mess up, I restart. So I just want to make sure I say these, and, and I feel like that's a block if you don't finish your prayer if you get spooked from saying something so every little word counts because it says in proverbs 18 21 the power of life and death are in the tongue so we're speaking life here so we want to make sure we get the words right you know so that's just me uh i like to really uh it lets me know that nothing distracted that and it went straight to heaven where it needed to go so I'm going to read you that one. In the name of our authority from our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, the body of Christ puts the deception of Satan's kingdom and Antichrist movement. <clears throat> Let me say it again. In the name of our authority from our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, the body of Christ puts the deception of Satan's kingdom and Antichrist movement under its feet. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. In the name of our authority from our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, the body of Christ puts the deception of the government under its feet. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen. By our Heavenly Father, excuse me, by the authority of our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, we reach down. Our gener by the authority of our Heavenly Father and body of Christ, reach through our generations and pull out the remnants of Adam and Eve through the kingdom of Christ, our King. Send your holy fire through the eyes and ears of disbelievers so they may taste the faith you died to give us with your body and blood in the authority of and in the name of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we ask that coronavirus, COVID-19, be destroyed and removed from the world, that this evil virus and the evil agenda behind it be put under the feet of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ask that all the darkness we be brought to light and all the sickness be brought to healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <sighs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> and I said, uh, we figured out prayer can be altered for groups of evil and groups or persons in trouble. So get creative with those prayers. And lies can be interchanged with kingdom, 
control, power, children, fear, emotions, and etc. Like I said, get creative with some of those prayers and, and scramble your words around or whatever he's tugging on or the enemy's tugging on. Uh, fight back in the name of Jesus. And uh, Adam and Eve can be replaced with people in danger. Uh, you know, reach to the you know, reach to the remnants. That's breaking cycles, running through your generations. You know what I mean, and and cutting soul ties from it. So, and also the word disbelievers can be altered to a single person in danger. So you can pray for others. You can say their names. So we can pray for each other. You can use these for yourself. So I love you guys. Keep pushing, man. I hope y'all had a blessed Sunday. And stay blessed out there. And that involves get on your knees, praying, praising, hallelujah, giving God thanks, and reading scripture. Read some scripture, man. Learn about all this. Learn about where we are in life right now. The kingdom of heaven is on earth right now. Because Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit. And we are to govern. We are to watch over his house while he's gone right now. And we don't need the devil running amok through our bedrooms and through our living rooms down here and, and fight back. I love you guys, man. Godspeed. God bless you all. And peace.